What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Hope you guys are having a wonderful day today. We are back playing some Pokemon Sword and Shield, hopping onto that ranked double ladder, and ladies and gentlemen, we got ourselves a good one for you guys today. Today, we have ourselves a Zacian team alongside with Chlorophyll Venusaur, Drought Torkoal, and Solar Power Charizard. So if you guys are hyped, make sure you support the channel by smashing that like button and clicking that big red subscribe button. Seriously, it goes a long way. Thank you guys so much for the support that has been going out across this channel. But I saw this team right here, and it looks overpowered. I was like, I have to use it. It looks too good. It looks too broken to even be in this game. Just look at this team and look how many strong Pokemon we have. I cannot wait to get after it and possibly get that winning record or maybe even a perfect record today. But starting off in that top left corner, we have Screens Grimstarl. I absolutely love this set on this thing. We have Prankster, Light Clay, and then we got Spirit Break, Reflect, Light Screen, and Thunder Wave to pass it around and throw out some Paralyzers. Right next to him is going to be the heart and soul of this team. Arguably one of the best Pokemon in the game right now. It's Zacian with Interpret Sword and Rusted Sword so we get that plus one attack boost every time we get into the battle. We have Protect, Iron Head, Sacred Sword, and Substitute. Phenomenal move set. Cannot wait to show off this Pokemon once again. You guys probably have been seeing it all over the meta. Legit, everybody's using it because it's that strong right now. Middle left, we have Charizard. Been a great Pokemon ever since the meta came out. Everybody uses it. Has never wavered as being a bad Pokemon. Always been top tier in my opinion. We got Solar Power, the Wakan Berry, so we can eat up an Electric Shot. Blast Burn, Ancient Power, Hurricane, and Protect. Middle right, we have Landorus with that Intimidate and that Assault Fest so we can actually eat up some special attacking shots. Then we have Rock Tomb, Earthquake and Fly for Stab, and then U-Turn so we can pivot out and potentially get more Intimidates in on the battle. Bottom left corner is going to be our Weather Control Pokemon. It's Torkoal with Drought and Citrus Berry so we get more HP when we drop below half. Burning Jealousy, Body Press, Yawn, and Protect. I'm liking this moveset. I'm digging it. It pesters around. We can get some damage off of Burning Jealousy. We also have that Body Press, and then we have Yawn to put other Pokemon to sleep. Final spot is going to be Venusaur. This Pokemon is amazing, especially with this set right here. Chlorophyll to double its speed in Drought, which he's just going to pair well with Torkoal. Everyone knows that. Life Orb for bigger damage. Frenzy Plant, Earth Power, Weather Ball, and Sleep Powder to pass around and put some Pokemon to sleep. Guys, if you want to try out this team for yourself, rental code is at the bottom of the screen. But let's get after it. Let's hop on that ranked double ladder and try to get some wins with this Zacian Drought team. Before we hop into battle number one, let's go to question of the day right here, and it is what are you guys' favorite hobbies? It can legit be anything you guys do, anything you guys enjoy, just let me know in the comments section down below. Considering I want to get to know you guys more, and I want you guys to know me more, so I'll be answering this one as well. For me, my favorite hobbies is I absolutely love sports. Sports are a big part of my life. Uh, ice hockey's favorite sport. Been playing that all my life. Uh, video games, definitely a great hobby of mine. I like uh, fitness as well, like going to the gym and all that good stuff. And there was one more I was thinking of, but it's just not popping in my head. So once it pops in my head, I'm going to get after it. But we have 30 seconds left. Um, we're going up against another Drought team right here. I think we can go Drought be Drought here and have no problem whatsoever. I think we go Torkoal. Uh, actually, let's not go Torkoal. Let's just go Venusaur. Get Intimidate Lando out here. Actually, no. Let's not go Lando. Let's try to set up a screen. Bring Charizard Zacian. I am digging that. I am digging that because he has a lot of special attackers. So, I am digging this uh, setup right here. But yeah, legit, any single hobby, let me know in the comment section down below. Like I said, I love ice hockey, playing sports and all that. Uh, going outside. Uh, like I said, going to the gym. Video games. Video games being a big part of my life. Oh, and the last one was making YouTube videos. So, th those are my four. Those are my four right there. We got gym, YouTube, video games, and hockey. That's all me. That is all me. So, definitely let me know in the comment section down below because I would love to get to know you guys a little bit more. But we're going up against an Incineroar and Regilecki here, which I don't mind this lead. I'm totally fine. Intimidate's really not going to affect me too much. And this Electric isn't really going to be doing too, too well. He might go into an E-Web, which I'm totally fine with. Do I set up a Reflect? Do I drop a Sleep Powder? I think I just get right after this with an Earth Power, Earth Power right here. And then I set up a nice little Reflect. Yeah, then we're going to set up a Reflect because he might go into it with a Flare Blitz. Or he might fake me out. Let's just see exactly what he does. Let's see what you're going to do, Incineroar. What you got up your sleeve, baby? I thought maybe he was going to set the drought. So, I mean, I'm fine with this. Because we should be we should be able to eat up a, what's it called? We should be able to eat up a flare, but it's no problem. With a reflect, though. Well, reflect is obviously going to get up. He's going to withdraw a like you turn one. Which is totally fine. And go into Charizard. So, smart play by him. Actually, read the Earth Power. Okay, yo, this dude this dude knows what's up. Fake out's going to come out here. And it's going to go over on the Grim Snarl. So, he just gets a free fake out. He just gets a free fake out, which is pretty cool. Now we're definitely setting up this light screen instead, and maybe we'll try to get off Sleep Powder. I don't think we can. He is going to go drop a fire move. But I could actually swap into my Charizard.
That could be play. I think it is going to be play. We're going to hard swap into our Charizard. And I think I'm just going to drop a, uh, a Light Screen here. Get this rolling here so Charizard isn't doing as much damage as he should be. And we'll roll from there. So we'll swap the Bean. Get him mad here. Get our Charizard in. Which is lovely. Big dog. His is shiny. And he's going to withdraw Incineroar. So he's going to pip it out. And he's going to get in ground on. Wow, we could have kept him Venusaur all day. We could have kept him Venusaur all day long. I could have been top tier play to put that uh, Charizard to sleep. Or at least go for it. But he is going to end up Dynamaxing. I think we're going to see a G-Max Wildfire coming over into my Charizard slot. But we are going to be able to get off a Light Screen. And Groudon cannot get no sad moves off of my Charizard. Because we're flying. So I am digging that. We still have Zacian in the back end. And I am setting up a light screen, which is wonderful, which is just dandy. But I knew this one was going to be a tough one considering uh, his team right there. It looks very, very strong. We did not get off the reflect in turn one because he faked us out. But we do get off this light screen, which is huge. And he's going to drop that wildfire. Okay, cool. So a lot, lot is happening right there. And that, wow, that's powerful. That was powerful. A lot was happening right there. He shows he's life orb and he's solar powered. Well, I'm solar powered. Is he solar powered? Yeah, he's gotta be. But Charizard isn't solar powered. And down goes my. Ch Actually, Charizard shouldn't take this uh, flame damage, right? Lovely. Lovely. So I could drop an ancient power. I could drop a blast burn. Which I'm probably gonna try to get off a blast burn here and set up a. Uh, I'm gonna actually uh, T wave over on him. That's my play. We are gonna T wave, slow him down, and try to get off a blast burn onto the ground. Maybe we can pick up a KO before we go out. And then get out Venusaur and what's it called? We can get out Venusaur and Zacian, which could be really, really nice. Well, I don't see him taking out my Grimmsnarl, even though I do want to reflect up here. Let's see what happens. Thunder Wave comes out, dropping that thing speed, which is wonderful. Paralyze you, and a Blast Burn should come out here. We have lovely little Blast Burn. Can we pick up a KO here? We might be able to. We do, dude. Blast Burn is so <laughs> broken, man. It's like a last ditch effort kind of move, so I sent it right there, considering I knew that we were going to take some uh, big damage there. He's going to take out my Charizard. I'm perfectly fine with that turn. I'm going to get out Venusaur here. Uh, do I get out Venusaur? Do I get out Venusaur? That's the real question. Or do I just get out Zacian? What's the call here? I think I just get out Zacian and save Venusaur for that back end. Hmm. And turn this into a max strike. I could. What does Jeans want to do here? He's got to be my Dynamax Pokemon. Uh, I think I'm just going to get out Zassian here. I do outspeed. I could sub here. I think that's going to be the play. It's to sub up. He's going to go Incineroar? He is going to go Incineroar. Uh, so I can sub up here and set up a Reflect. What do I want to do? What does Jeans want to do? I do outspeed all day. Timnate is going to uh, bring me back down to even. I could drop that thing's uh, special attack. Go for Sacred Sword. I can do a lot here. He's going to fake me out. So I'm just going to protect my uh, Zassian here. And I think I'm going to get off Spirit Break. Drop this thing's special attack. I think it's going to be play here. He's going to fake me out and try to go for like a Wildfire. The protection can come out here. We're going to start wasting out these turns. And then I can get Venus in, here, in this back end here. And he's going to guard. Okay. okay. Oh, I totally dig it. I totally dig this. Okay, so we're just going to see that happen. Yo, I'm I'm cool with that turn. I'm cool with that turn 100%. Wildfire's going to take some damage. I'm really cool with that turn. He... I'm really cool with that turn because he just wasted his last Dynamax turn. And he's really, really slow. So I'm thinking, good Sacred Sword here. I get off as much damage as we can. We could sub up. Hmm, what do I want to do? I'm going to Sacred Sword here, and I think I'm just going to Spear Break. What do I want to do? The pain. I'm going to Spear Break over onto you. It's a good battle. This is a real good battle. Sacred Sword's going to come out here. We're going to do some damage onto this thing. It's not stab. We're not going to KO. And we get the Paralyze, which is wonderful. Which is wonderful. Spirit Break's going to come out here. We're going to drop the scene to minus one. And I should set up a Reflect next turn. Not very effective, but we get that drop, which is huge. And a Flare Blitz is going to roll through. Can we eat this up? I don't think we are. We have no Reflect up. We do not. But we still have our Venusaur. 
We still have our Venusaur. Um, who's his final mon? Who is gonna be his final mon? He's gonna take mean recoil damage there. And his barry's gonna come out here. So I could get a special defense boost with my Venusaur. That is exactly what I'm gonna do. Speed's all mine. Solar power is gonna take some damage away from this Charizard. And the flames are gonna start pestering on my Grimstar. Okay. Venusaur's gonna get out here. We still have our Dynamax. That was just a tough battle for Zassy in there. Like all fire coming out here. I didn't really know what to do. But Venusaur's coming out here. We saved the Dynamax for this moment and this moment right here. And I am going to Max Quake over into Incineroar. Oh, what could be his final mod? It's Regilecki. You already swapped out Regilecki. Okay, so this is going to be beautiful this turn right here. And I think I'm just going to Spirit Break again. Start dropping this thing. Because we already have Light Screen. I'm not really worried about that Incineroar too much. We outspeed. We should be able to take out Incineroar no problem. Get that special attack boost and have Venusaur roll out from here. Let's see what happens here. Let's just let's, let's play it slow. Because this is a really good battle. I think Grimstar might go down to a Wildfire next turn. Or Wildfire could end. It could have ended. But we saved our Dynamax. Dude, this is a solid first battle. Win or lose. Win or lose. This is just a good all-around battle. Like, from turn one, we saw a lot was happening. A lot was going on. We kind of waited out his Dynamax. Put our Venusaur in the back end. And got one from there. I wish Zassian could have did a little bit more, but like I said, tough battle for him. He's just going up against a bunch of fire Pokemon. We get off this Max Quake, gonna KO the Instant War, but more importantly, get that special defense boost for the team up against a Charizard and a Regilecki. That I really like. I don't think I should worry about the Regilecki anymore. If I can get off the Spirit Break, I think we have this game in the bag. Let's see what happens here. Give me Paralyze again. Give me another Paralyze. I was gonna go for Heat Wave. And that took out Venusaur? It gets a crit? Dude! No, not a shot. Not a shot. Bro, not a shot that takes out Venusaur. Yo, what a battle. Stu got a little lucky there. I thought we were going to end up picking up that W all around. But GG's, we start off 0-1. We got to hop into our second and get a victory. I'm a little upset at that last battle. This dude really gets a crit when I thought we were buzzing pretty well. He had a special attack drop. We had a special defense boost and a light screen up. And he still one taps my Venusaur. All I needed was one more turn for him. Because I knew we were going to be able to eat up whatever Regilecki had to offer. But we ended up losing that one solid first battle. Went the distance. Showed off this team pretty well. But we're hopping into our second one. And we're getting ourselves a win here. We're going to go back to back. I promise you guys. We're going back to back. We're winning this battle. And we're winning the next one. We're going to end up 2-1 and one with a solid three battles all around. But we're going up against a Zacian team. Alongside with Galarian Articuno. I haven't seen that Pokemon in forever. And he also has Whimsicott, Regilecki, Inteleon, and Sharpedo. I love Sharpedo. One of my favorite Pokemons. He's like top 10. He's so dope. He's really, really cool. But I think I might set up screens. He has the... Uh, this is a Whimsicott. He does have the Whimsicott. I got to bring in my Intimidate Pokemon. Might actually go Torkoal and Venusaur as a lead. I think that's solid. Get one with there. Go Lando and Zacian. I am digging that. I am digging that. Your boy's digging that a lot. Because he has a... Like, Venusaur counters up a lot here. We have the Quake. We have the Grass typing. So, I am digging that. I am digging that. And then we have Torkoal. Like, Torkoal's a beast in the drought. He's a beast in the drought. You don't want to let a Torkoal get turned. You guys know he's going to do a lot of damage. Especially the ones that roll Eruption. So, Burning Jealousy can do a lot of damage in the drought here as well. Any fire move, basically. Any fire move. But, dude, I was like... In my head, I was picturing Venusaur gets out there. Venusaur eats up a Heat Wave or whatever uh, Charizard has to offer. And then we just take out Charizard next turn. Not have to worry about the Regilecki. And roll from there. And he just Heat Waves. It was like, critical hit. I see my HP bar, you know, drop him like, bruh, of course, of course, just my luck. But we're going to rock out with here. I'm going to drop, wait, wait, do I go body press? Nah, we're not going to body press. I'm just going to burning jealousy here. And I could just drop a frenzy plant, but I might just die next turn one. Let him get speed. And I'm going to buy and last show bomb to you. That's going to be play. That is going to be 100% play. Play of the week. He might tail win here. But you give me no reason not to die Max's Venusaur. We got Life Orb. We have speed going on here. We have a drought. Like, everything's in our favor. If he Tailwinds, he Tailwinds. We're going to take out... We're going to pick up the double kill here. Like, I think I'm 100% that we're picking up double kill here. With G-Max Vine Lash. Even if Whimscott Sash. That's why we're Vine Lash. So we get the Lash damage after jumping down the Sash. But he is going to end up Tailwinding. And I wonder what Sharpedo has up his sleeve. Just going to go for a water move here. Here he goes for Oh, he's bonding. He is bonding. Can does this work with Dynamax Pokemon? Is this a thing? 
I swear, if he takes out my, my Venusaur with him. Is that a thing? Okay. I don't think that's a thing. But I think that's how Destiny Bomb works. Burn Jealousy drops this thing down. Bind Lash Damage is going to come out here. Give him a little bit of slap ups. Say, hey, yo, go home. Well, does Vine Lash Damage not go off against him, Scott? Is he park He's Park Grass, isn't he? Yeah. Okay, so Articuno's gonna get the, the Dynamax here. I could yawn and guard. That could be play. But I think I'm just gonna go Burning Jealous here. I could strike and slow down. Hmm, what's Sheen's one do? I think I might strike and slow down. That's probably our best bet. He's gonna freeze and glare. Hey, hey, chill on me, man. Chill on me. He's not gonna Dynamax. Oh, wow. This thing's going with Endeavor. Or Endeavor. You never see that move. And we're flaring here. Because it's our weather ball. And we're doing some big damage. And we're gonna be able to pick up a double kill here. Beautiful, yo. I'm 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 thriving here. We're thriving just well. Beautiful, lovely. I didn't know that the max strike would turn into the uh the flare, considering it was weather ball in the beginning. I thought it was just still a max strike, so that's good to know. For future references but there's a double kill he's down the one he's down the one pokemon but i was gonna be so mad if that sharpedo's destiny bomb was gonna drop my venusaur we're gonna be like, bro what you mean oh this is ggs this is ggs bro quit the battle we're getting a clean sweep we're getting a clean sweep and i'm gonna yawn you just in case i'm gonna yawn you just in case he might he might take out my venusaur I just can't spell. Yeah, he knows. He knows. Gene's rocking out here. But I told you guys, we're going back to back. There's one battle. Let's hop into our second and third and final battle and try to get ourselves that winning record. Hopping into our third and final battle, and I promised you guys back to back victories in battle number two and three. So that's exactly what we're going to do. I already did first half of that by sweeping in battle number two, but we're going up against the Necrozma team trying to get that winning record. He also has Lapras, Ferrothorn, Togekiss, uh, Tyranitar, and Incineroar. Okay, um, do I take Weather? I could go Weather. He does have... What's called? Who's kind of annoying. He does have a... Uh, Lapras. Who's kind of annoying. Or not Lapras. Tyranitar. He does have Necrozma. I think I might bring Charizard here in Zacian. Let's go all out. We just go all out. Because he has Prison Armor. I'm really liking this right here. We're just going to go all out with Attack. Let's get rolling here. Start off with that Torkoal Drought. Try to get buzzing here. He does have Tyranitar. So hopefully he leads the Tyranitar. Because if he does, Torkoal Slower so the Jack can come out later. But maybe I should have brought in Torkoal in the back end to, to just swap and pivot. But I think we're fine. I really do think we're fine. Even if he swaps into Tyranitar, I can, like, still get off a nice turn. Let's see. He, he does have Necrozma. He's kind of scary. He goes Necrozma and... And Lapras. Okay. Necrozma and Lapras. I'm going with these boys. That I really do like. And I'm going to Vine... I think I'm going to Dynamax and Vine Lash over onto that left slot. Onto that Lapras. I think it's going to be play, and I think I'm just going to burn Jealousy, or I can yawn. Hmm. Burn Jealousy could be play, because I think could we be weakness policy, so I am going to yawn over on him. And I am going to, or I can drop a Sleep Powder. Now we're going to yawn, and we are going to buy Lash. That's the play. Final answer. Final answer right then and there. Let's see what he does. He could swap the, uh... He can swap the Lapras into the Tyranitar, but then I think we're still fine. I think we can eat up whatever Necrozma has to offer. And then still do some big damage over on the over on Tyranitar slot. So we're Dynamaxing. We obviously have speed advantage right now because of, of the Drought. But like I said, if he takes out the Drought, then he's going to take speed advantage from us. But I like I like Venusaur. I like Dynamax and Venusaur with this team. He's just, he's just very consistent. Very, very consistent. <laughs> Let's go here. I would rather probably have Ooze on this set, but it works out just fine. Is he going to Dynamax? No, he's not. We're just going to get turn one KO. Big damage here. There's no way to Sash. We just get turn one KO here, and I can uh, get off a nice big yawn here. Nice, lovely yawn. And we get Vines, bro. And we get Vines slapping up, which I love. And Torkoal outspeed. He's going for a Trick Room. He's Trick Rooming. He's Trick Room. I was going to say, yo, how the heck does Torkoal outspeed? And gets off a Trick Room. So, if you guys don't know, the reason I knew he was Trick Rooming was because he's going nice. The only reason I know. So, I think I might just, uh, might double protect. I'm, I'm definitely going to protect my Venusaur here. I want that thing to go to sleep. We need him to go to sleep. We need him to say, hey, let's put him to bed. 
And he might he might get out Tyranitar here. Let's see what he does. Just see his play. Is he gonna be Tyranitar? Might be. Gonna be Incineroar, which I'm a hundred percent fine with that. Um does that trick him? I'm, I think we're gonna protect. Protect and potentially body press. Or I might just burning jealousy here. Hmm. I'm gonna go here. I'm just gonna max yard here. Let me play. Actually, he's gonna fake me out. Uh, I think I might just double protect here. He's definitely faking me out. I'm gonna double guard. I'm gonna double guard. Cause he's gonna, he's gonna one fake out my Torkoal and two try to get after my Venusaur with the Necrozma. So that's the play. Double, double protect. Double protect plays one slow. Let Necrozma go to sleep to the yawn. Hopefully he doesn't Dynamax and like drop like a lightning or something to neglect it. Let's see what happens here. He is Dynamax. He's gotta be dropping like a lightning. Go after my Venusaur though. Go after my Venusaur so we can block it and neglect it. Let's see what he does. Oh, he's going insane. Yo, this dude's crazy. Good thing we guarded, man. It's going Incineroar, which I dig. If the Drought's still a thing, I can I can Quake on that thing, get damage off. Oh, no, no, we don't speed. We don't want speed anymore. Double Protect coming out. Double Protect Day. Double Guard, baby. Stuff Char. Love the boy. We go. Oh, 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 he's got to go. He's We got to get him out of here. We got to get him out of here. He's going to go to sleep, though, but we got to get him out of here. Max player coming out here. We gotta get him out of here. We this this guy's gotta go. Final last chip him up. We'd love to see. Prisma hurts a little bit. Same thing with Incineroar. Chipping away some damage. And this thing goes to sleep. Yo, he's gotta go. We're not letting this thing hang around. We're not letting him hang around. Burn Jealousy's gonna come out here. And I could strike. I could slow him down, but I think Quick's gonna be the play. And I, I'm gonna go after Necrozma. I'm more worried about Necrozma more than anything. More than anything, we had Necrozma's. Necrozma's a pain. He's probably gonna take on my Venus Raider, no problem. Burn Jealousy does come out here, which is lovely. And we're trying to get after this thing. And it is it is weakness policy, which I thought of in the beginning. We gotta get we gotta get rid of this thing. Necrozma's slump still. And what's he gonna do here? He's gonna go for a flare. That's probably gonna take on my Venus Raider. Unless Venus Raider can eat. Venus Raider can eat. That'll be lovely. He does not. He hasn't been eating up nothing all day. He's just been getting dumped on by fire moves. <laughs> That's like the downside. Venusaur, speed through the roof in the, in the drought. But he takes extra fire damage, which is huge. Can another burn jealousy take that out? It should be able to. And Torko's slow, so I'm, I'm thinking that. So do I get out Zass? No, I do not get out Zassian right now. We get out Charizard. I can protect this turn. Get rolling with that. I'm going to protect my Charizard, and I'm going to burn jealousy. That is my play. I'm keeping Zassian for the back end. Burn Jealousy takes out Necrozma. And we just protect. I'm gonna say, hey, we're gonna slow this one down. We're gonna protect. Right, he's this is this is his last turn in Dynamax too. We still have Zass. Still have the boy. So we're playing pretty pretty well here. I don't see him taking me out. I don't see him taking out any of my Pokemon here with this uh instant war. Let's see what he's gonna do. He's gotta be going after my Charizard. Big yawn from Torkoal though. Yawn from Torkoal definitely coming up big. Cause yo, he hit that sword dance. I'm like, hey, hey, yeah, he knock it off. <laughs> like, I need to get rid of him. This thing's plus two, and he's an absolute beast. Actually, he's plus four. He's policy proc. Policy proc. Charizard protects. Um, what's the Krosma doing? Krosma's dead. That's what he's doing. Krosma's vine lash gotta come out, right? Vine lash definitely coming out here. Oh, yo, yo. Oh, oh no, he wakes up. Sun shield strike. Torkoal's dead. He's dead. Torkoal's dead. That burn jealousy really didn't take him out. Dude, he's dead. Not very oh he, he survived. Not very effective, but crit and plus four doing a heaping amount of damage. And my citrus berry mwah, comes out looking all beautiful. Can't believe that thing woke up. Max Darkness coming out here. Charizard was able to eat all day. And is that gonna be a defense drop, I think? I think it does. I think it's a defense drop. Special defense, okay. Which one gives us defense drop? Not ghost. It, it actually, it might be ghost. Yeah, I think it's phantasm. Yeah, phantasm does. Fine lash comes out. The crows out of here. Thank God. Get that guy out of here. He's an absolute beast. Incineroar's turns are done. 
we have fastest mon and slowest mon. So whichever one's rocking out, we have that turn. I could body press, which I probably am gonna do next turn. Really depending on what Pokemon he throws out here. Silv Zass. Silv Zass, which is huge. Which is huge. I'm gonna throw out Tyranitar. Okay. I see you. I'm gonna throw out Tyranitar, so body press is definitely coming. Coming right now. Probably gonna drop a rock slide. Zassian should be able to do work up against that thing. We do have fighting, and fighting is four times super effective. Do I have body press on you? I think I'm think I'm with that. Yeah, body press on you, and then I drop a inch power. Because body or because fighting is four times super effective. Maybe Torkoal can do some big old damage on the Tyranitar. We should have this one pretty much locked up with Zassian in the back. Because by that time, Trick Room will be over. We'll be plus one. We'll be rolling out strong. Body press coming up. Torkoal, yo, chill on them, Torkoal. This thing's sash. This thing's sash, yo. Big body press. Dark Slayer is going to come out here. And Torkoal might be able to eat this. He's going after Torx. No, he goes after Charger. Charger is going to be able to eat that. And I think he's going to rock slide. Rock slide. Connects on both. Eat it up, Torx. My main man. My main man, Torkoal. He's clutching it up for you, boys. Body press was huge. Now, is Trick Room over? If Trick Room's not over, I'm just going to protect my Zassian. It is over. The Zassian should be fastest. And he's probably going to be like, bruh. He really got Zassian out here. <laughs> Zassian comes out. Um, all right. Zassian's out here. We're plus one. So what's it called? Do I just take out Tyranitar? He does have like EQ. I think I just uh, I think I just take a sword and take you out. I don't see an EQ taking me out, right? I know we outspeed. Heavens. Tyrants are my protect. I know Incineroars don't rock protect, so I'm like, let's just get after this Incineroar. Let's get him out of here and try to secure this victory. Come on, yo. I promise you guys. I promise you guys. I gotta make it happen right here. The boys gotta make it happen. Let's see what he's gonna do. Sacred Sword's gonna come through. We're plus one. That picks up the KO. That's GG's. That's GG's. Unless he gets a crit. Yo, and unless he gets a crit on the CQ. He's just gonna drop a rock side. I'm with it. Maybe he's not rocking EQ. He might be rocking high horsepower. Could be doing something else. But, yo, that's GG's. I'm not missing. I'm going with 100% act move. We're not playing around. I told you guys, yo. I promise you. I hopped in second. I'm like, yo. Team's online gaming community needs a little bit of a... Wait, let me check the acts. Okay, they're all 100. I was like, we, we need a little bit of a back-to-back -back victory. Get that winning record. Especially with this team. Seems really, really strong. Really, really strong. I think, it, I think it's definitely OP. That first battle, I think we, we, we had a hot shot at winning. Maybe I messed up. But that other guy had a really good team to kind of counter us up a little bit. They were just both, like, top two teams. But we take out him in fashion. In fashion with a cool little signature move. And we end up going 2-1 and one and pick up that winning record for you guys. I'm telling you guys right now. Take this rental code. Rent this team. And go rank up in Master Bolt here. This team is phenomenal all around. Absolutely broken in my opinion. Really, really strong. Counters of a lot of teams. And it has some of the top tier meta Pokemon with Zassian, Charizard, Venusaur, and the Torkoal Drought combo. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know when my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spread some positivity today. And I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.